So what exactly does all of this mean for us at home? If this trend continues, we may not be able to go out to eat or maybe hang out at our favorite bars. 12 News reporter Jordan James spoke with Southeast Texas officials who say scaling back may be just what our area needs to start taking this virus seriously again. Yeah, Dejanique, hospitals across Jefferson County have been overwhelmed with coronavirus patients. In fact, it's gotten to the point where County Judge Jeff Brennick had to call in the state for some much needed relief. These are stressful times. We've got to be vigilant and prudent in this. As Jefferson County officials try to get a handle on the coronavirus. I don't think it's ever good to panic unless your house is on fire. In less than a week, the county's hospitalization rate is up 114% and ICU beds are at capacity. Jefferson County Judge Jeb Brannick has had to call in the state for assistance. We're preparing contingency plans for uh, hospital surges. We're trying to get more nurses and physicians in. Been promised by the state that we'll be getting more uh, test kits and and more resources to assist us. Jefferson County is a part of Set Track Trauma Service R, which is made up of nine neighboring counties in the region. The hospitalization rate has been above 15% for five days. If we reach seven consecutive days, the governor could impose new restrictions. Well, it would certainly force social distancing because you'd have fewer people closer together, which would lessen the likelihood of the spread of the virus. Given the recent spike in cases, Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty is encouraging everyone to take advantage of testing. We are fighting uh, something right now that, 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 that uh, you know, we, we've been losing the war. You know, we've lost almost every battle with this. In an effort to combat the surge in hospitalization, Brennick says area hospitals will open up more beds for COVID-19 patients. But at the end of the day, everyone needs to do their part in stopping the spread. I think people ought to remain calm, uh, just be guarded in their interactions with one another and, and you know, try to be as safe as we can. Now, in terms of scaling back, Brennick says he would not be surprised if new restrictions are not put in place as early as Thursday. On our website, we have more information about where you can be tested for the coronavirus. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.